All right, you guys, it's the one and only Mashiach Ben Joseph here again. Papa Yahweh just asked me to uh, cover Isaiah 48 with you, or parts of Isaiah 48 that he wanted you to uh, understand, and he just told me what to say as I go through it. So I wrote it all down, and here we go. Isaiah 48, number one. Hear ye this, O house of Jacob, which are called by the name of Israel, and are come forth out of the waters of Judah, which swear by the name of the Lord, and make mention of the God of Israel, but not in truth nor in righteousness. Now that means that everything Jews say about God, including the Bible, is a lie that makes him look bad. All right. Then number eight. Yea, thou heardest not, yea, thou knewest not. Yea, from that time that thine ear was opened. For I knew that thou, would de thou wouldest deal very treacherously, and wast called a transgressor from the womb. Now what that basically means is that every Jew betrays God as pure evil filth from conception. Meaning there's no goodness in Jews. He's basically saying you're transgressors from the room. You you do wrong from before you're even born. You now you're sinners before you're even born. Alright. And then it goes on to number nine. For my name's sake will I defer my mine anger, and for my praise will I refrain for thee, that I cut thee not off. Behold, I have refined thee. Thee, but not with silver, I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. And what that means is that God won't kill the Jew, but rather brutalize them because they are most desirable when suffering, unlike something or someone precious. All right, so he refined them through suffering into becoming more, meaning that he makes them more desirable by making them suffering meaning that it's more desirable when a Jew suffers. All right. All right, now, Papa Yahweh, if that's true and that's what you asked me to say, then when I throw this laundry on the ground, create a face or a 314 in the wrinkles. All right. So here we go. Shake this up. All right. One, two, three, go. All right, let's see. Is there a face or a 314? All right, I'm not seeing much. I'm not seeing much. A face or a 314. Well, there's almost like a 3 right there and then a a little faint one beside it and a four right there. So almost got a three one four there. Alright, let's keep looking. See if we can get something better. A face or a three one four. Alright. Let's see. Oh there you go, there's there's like an eye right there, an eye right there, a nose and then a mouth. Is there another 314? A better quality 314? Well, there's, there's sort of a 3 right there, and then a 1 right there, and a 4 right there, or a 3 right there, a 1, and then a 4. So we got the 314 in the face. All right, now, Poppy Alway, one more thing. Let's try it. If that was true, and that wasn't just a fluke, when I go outside, I'm going to go have a cigarette, you create something like another face or 314 in the clouds. All right. So let's see if it happens. This is kind of like a, a spare-of-the-moment thing. There was no planning in this, so he might not do it. But... Uh, I'll sit down and have a cigarette, and we'll see if he creates. 
a face or a 314 in the clouds. All right, let's see. There's almost like an eye right there, an eye right there, a nose and then a mouth. So sort of, sort of, sort of. But we're not really getting a 314. I was really hoping for a good quality face. There's almost like an eye right there, an eye right there, a nose and then a little mouth and a chin, but it's really poor quality. Still got a couple of minutes on this cigarette. So let's see if he creates something really good. There's sort of like an eye right there, an eye right there, a nose and a mouth. There's sort of a face. And there's almost a 314 right there. Almost, but not quite. Yeah, there you go. There's almost a face and a 314. So, uh, anyway, there you go.